Hello and welcome, PML <laughs> fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here, and with me, I got Team Rillagoons. Goon Squad. Welcome, guys. What's up? Oh, hello. So, Hi. So we have the actual coach and the actual person who drafted. Very team effort style. It is what it is. I was so busy was, that day. Yeah, so David was busy that day, and he's like, hey, uh, can you draft for me? I'm like, yeah, but I get to draft your team. You have no say in it. Oh, so, shit. Now, that being said, I want my boy to try his best. And I don't want to set him up for failure because I could have easily just give him a like a horrible team. <laughs> so like I infused uh, with the picks a little bit of what I would do, and uh, like I know what some of the mons he's comfortable with, so I wanted to make sure there was a few in there that I knew he'd be able to use. Yeah, like the top five, six, well, top seven. ten, <laughs> <laughs> all of them almost. <laughs> Well, did David get what he wanted for his first pick? No. No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you know, and you know what's funny? Uh, the guy who I interviewed first did, and apparently he said originally, because I fucked up the doc and I had to redo it, and he said originally David was before him, and when I messed up the doc oh. and I tried to fix it to where it was supposed to be, I accidentally put David behind him. So I guess it's my fault he didn't get Rulabu. Wow. It damn. could have also been his fault that he's like, hey, no one pick Rillaboom first, please, please. <laughs> that oh. too. Well, I knew that there, someone was going to anyways. I knew it. Well, how do it's you feel about though. your overall team? Uh, I think it's sweet. I have the cores that I want and need and stuff that does funky shit that I like. <laughs> so I think it'll, I think it'll be a good team. Yeah, yes. when I was drafting the team, I uh, uh, first pick, uh, which was Metagross, I kind of just picked it because I'm like, okay, I know David can do stuff with it. It's a solid metal type. Um, this was, our draft pick was like, what, 12th or something like that? It was towards the end. Yeah. So some mm -hmm. of the picks that I wanted to get, like Rillaboom was one I was looking at. I was also looking at Dragonite because that's a really strong first pick. I wasn't able to get either one of those, so... Um, the main uh, thing with the first three picks I was able to do is have a good Steel Fairy uh, Dragon Core, which is, if you can have a good core of that, it's really strong. So, mm -hmm. I was went with Metagross first because it's a solid uh, Steel type. Um, and then went with uh, Clefable for the second pick because I just thought, as a Tier 2 pick, it was a really good value. And um, Tier 2 had a slew of good Dragon types. Uh, you had Hydragon, which is eventually the one I got. You had Haxorus. Um, you had Kamo'o. Like, you had some really good dragons. And I wanted to get Kamo'o because I know David loves Kamo'o. It was one of his Gen 7 favorites. Fortunately, he got sniped because I had to, like I said, I had to pick Clefable first because it's just, it paired well with Metagross and gave him a good tanky one two punch. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a really good defensive check, especially having Hydreigon being four times weak to Fairy and having Metagross and Clefable with, like, Unaware or <clears throat> Metagross can eat anything for Clefable, the Steel types moves and the, the Poison, and then Dark moves, like, switching Clefable or Hydreigon. Those three Pokemon, it's, yeah. like, a, it's a beautiful core. They work well together, certainly. Let's see how you can put them to use. Uh, uh, how many times yeah. did you get sniped in this draft? Um, I would say quite a few. There was certain picks. Um, when I usually draft, I I have a like I I always try to go for a balanced kind of draft because uh, I don't want too many of the same types unless I'm running a theme, which I usually don't. Um, but like I I try to make sure like okay. Like, uh, after those first three picks, I'm like, okay, let's see what's in the next pick, tier three. I'm like, okay, there's uh, quite a few. I think there's, like, three web users in that one. I'm like, okay, let's go with the Rachnid. Gives me the water coverage. Gets water. It's another tanky pick. Works well. Uh, tier four, you get electric and ice type. You know, ice is always good. Good for dragons. Rotom Frost is a good value pick. It has the fog, utility. It can paralyze. It can uh, burn, which is really good. Um, the only thing I didn't like about this draft was I wish I could have gotten a little bit of a better fire type. Colossal works because it's a good stealth rock user. It's, uh, 
it's also got rapid spin which is useful and you can do a lot of stuff with it but I think the only weak thing about this draft that I wish I could have done better was just drafting a better fire type but even that being said I would have had to sacrifice some of the other picks which I think all had really good uses yeah I was hoping for Incineroar <laughs> oh um, someone already picked them in tier 2 I so said, that was my first tier 2 pick so yeah, I, yeah, I, David. Bastard. I wasn't gonna yeah. let no one else get him. Come on now. Um, what is the favorite Pokemon that was drafted for you, David? Um, I would say it's probably Araquanid or Metagross or Clefable. I, I mean, I or hate Hydreigon. fighting <laughs> Clefables. <laughs> I hate fighting Clefable so much that having it on my team just relieves so much stress. It's such a, it's literally just its two abilities are like so strong for utility or for like tanking really strong or buffed up shit. Like the unaware is like one of the best abilities in the game for draft. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Clear body is one of the best abilities in the game for like a draft team. Same thing. You, you can't get webbed. You can't get charmed or snarled or intimidated. Like it's it's just it's a pretty solid team. All righty. Well, do you plan on changing anything that Jesse did for you? The only thing that I would change is probably colossal, but I don't know what I would change it to because I definitely would want to get another fire type. Okay. Yeah, totally uh, like I said. Cool. Colossal was kind of like Colossal can still do some good stuff, and especially in the league where it can Dynamax, I've been able to pull off some good cheese with it. So David could probably do the same with it too. Um, Give David too much credit. Hey, like I said, this team was drafted with David in mind. This isn't. There's like bits and pieces of like what I would use. Like the the Scyther is kind of something that was more towards me than him. Uh, it's another. It's a, a good little niche pick. It could do quite a, a variety of things. It's fairly quick. It's got the fog. Um, if I need it to be a, if he needs it to be like a physical attacker, it's capable of doing that. So. Yeah, I got you. Well, but I think that's, I think is probably my favorite. Like, like one that I wouldn't have expected being on my team. Well, Which one? <clears throat> Toxicity. Oh yeah, that's an interesting oh. pick for sure. Well, that one, um, when I was getting down to the last two picks, I was looking at the team and I noticed that it kind of lacked its special attack because that's also another thing I keep in mind. I don't want my team to be too physical or too special. And I was looking at the team and I had Clefable and Hydreigon, but, you know, Metagross is more physical, Arachnid's more physical, Rotom's a special, uh, Rune, Scyther's a little physical, so I wanted to get more with the special. and. Especially Toxtricity being available, I think it was tier 3, uh, gives them a poison check, which is pretty good. Can't go wrong with that. And granted, uh, it's electric poison, so earth, ground can mess it up. It was kind of what I was looking for as a last pick. And then Poltergeist was just that pure special attacker that I needed. So mm -hmm. I love Poltergeist too. Yeah, it's very, very good. good to have on the team. I think my favorite pick was probably Runerigus because it's a big tanky guy and it gives David a little bit of utility because he's got webs, so if he wants to slow down people, he can. Runerigus also gives him that trick room option, so if he wants to just go, you know, balls to the wall with something like Colossal and don't, you don't have to use Steam Engine or something like that to, or is it Steam Engine that abuses his speed? Yeah. yeah. That would, he doesn't have to rely on that. He can run like a flash fire or something like that. Or even like a Metagross who's got 70 speed or Clefable. That's I think like 60 or 65. That's another option if he wants to go that route to kind of be a little tricky or whatnot. Okay. Mm -hmm. that makes... Rune, Rune Rodriguez is, uh, is uh, it's like a sleeper pick. You don't really expect it to do all the crazy shit it can do. Yeah, and <clears throat> it's surprisingly very physically... Uh, gifted <laughs> even without physical investment it's very gifted if you know what i mean yeah it can hit pretty hard even without investment like uh you can run a defensive set complete defensive and just have earthquake and you'll still do a big ass chunk mm -hmm. all right yeah, it's well, a good good check 
Well, while you look over the teams in your division real quick, are you surprised of any Pokemon that weren't picked in the draft? Oh. Um, I will say I was almost surprised Gujar didn't get picked because that was going late to the round, and I was actually looking at that because Gujar's such a good special tank. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say I was surprised, uh, uh, some of the tier one picks, I thought there's a lot of good tier one picks. Uh, there's some that I was surprised, like the one that I liked was the Gandal. That was one I was debating with. Mm -hmm. It was either that or Metagross for David. Like I said, I went with Metagross cause I felt like David was a little bit more comfortable with that. So to me, uh, that's that one. Uh, another one is Halucha. Uh, I was surprised it was not a, initially drafted because Granted, we don't have the Tapus in this draft. There's still plenty of ways to get Unburdened set on it. Yeah. And that thing with Unburdened can be a trouble. So I, I would say those would probably be two. Also, Ferrothorn. I was surprised that one didn't get picked either because he's such a good tanky option that can set up hazards. <clears throat> yeah, I was looking at the teams right now. Like Some of these are, some of the teams kind of look either extremely bulky or extremely frail. There's not a whole lot of in between. Well, with like that, our division has a lot of bulk, honestly. Well, with that like in Dusty's mind, team. Uh, what team in your division do you think will give you the biggest battle of the season? I don't know. This guy named Joe. He's got a pretty good team. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna destroy Joe. Uh, it's, I'm not worried about him, guy. <laughs> Well, that's weird. Uh, by, it says by his opponent, David. It says six zero Joe. You're facing, huh? Oh yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh dang! You guys are actually facing each other first. Yep. Oh wow! Really? I didn't even notice yeah. that. Yeah, that will be fun, man. Oh okay. yeah. Oh, you better be ready for that to go down. Casper is probably going to be my hardest team matchup. I think from just skimming. Yeah, he's got a pretty good team. Uh, he's got a solid team. Yeah, he's got Dragonite. Um, I'll be doing my review since, I, like I said, I only helped David, uh, did the draft for David, so I'm not going to battle or anything like that. So I'll be looking at the teams. He's got a pretty good team, so I'm looking forward to looking at all these. But the one thing that I'm liking about this draft is we got a whole bunch of new people I've never seen. So I'm going to be judging on the team. It'll be up to the battlers to be able to do good enough with the team they drafted. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, new people, new battle styles, and a lot more fun to battle. Like, I know uh, Christopher, I was in a league with him, and I still, his battle, our playoff battle, was one of my favorites, so I know he will be tough. So, uh, luckily, David doesn't have to face him, I don't think, so you dodged a bullet with that one. I've, I've battled Christopher before. He's pretty good. Yeah. I battled him in VGC, I'm pretty sure, for a tournament. But he's got Toxapex and Tangrowth, so that's going to be super annoying. God, that screams Steven. All righty, guys. Yeah, well, anything you want to say to the fans before you go? <clears throat> well, oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. He cleared his throat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, just watch out for the streams. Watch the battles. And thank Joe, man, for having us come out here and do this. It's pretty cool. It's going to be cool to have all these different, like, points of view and videos yeah. of everyone's This is the battles. exciting thing. Like, for me, I, like I said, I won't be battling this because I don't do YouTube. The fact that I'll be able to watch these battles from either point of view, hopefully, because, you know, there might be that one person that, oh, I forgot to record or something, but it's just to be yeah. able to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to record. To watch them, because... When you do, like, when I do drafts, it's most of the time it's through uh, a showdown, which is a great way to watch it. It's like a really, like a Cliff Notes version to watch a battle. This one, we'll be able to watch it. Uh, we'll be able to kind of see, hey, how long does this person wait? You know, when you're streaming it, you'll probably be thinking out loud, possibly, too. So, mm -hmm. you know, when in that video, you'll be hearing the thoughts and you'll see, oh, maybe I was thinking about this or thinking about that. You know, you'll get to see the items, you'll get to see the moves. And you'll just be able to see how skillful of a person each person is in their battle, which will be great because, especially with Switch, we, we don't have a verse recorder that records the battle so we can rewatch them. You can only do it through streaming, so this will be definitely 
fun to watch and I think everyone should try to watch it and keep an eye on battlers see which one's your favorite and root for them yeah try to get some we gotta get fans involved and make it more of a thing so that people actually come out here and comment and talk to us and and like root for teams doesn't have to be me I don't care (laughs) (laughs) yeah for sure we will have a fantasy draft so Jesse you still will be able to take part in this league in some way Oh, wow, that's weird. I drafted the, the same team David did. Who, who imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you, Rilla Goons, for joining us today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Talk to you later. <laughs>